Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful baby Pisces. I hope you're all doing well today. So, before we get into this reading, as usual, I will be putting down my holy water. Yes, it is holy water, just water, nothing else in it. Never drink and do tarot. Number one rule, if you all didn't know that. So, with that being said, you know what time it is, baby. Mm. Tarot's now in session. Most Honorable Judge T. T. Dawn presiding. You may all be seated. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always say, it could very well be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it, and we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah. I will tell you I have a kitten story. So at the end of the reading, I'm going to share my kitten story. All right, I found a kitten. Okay, just letting you know. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Sure. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Sure. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Ooh. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. <laughs> Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. <clears throat> okay. Okay, well, we've got the star, we've got the nine of pentacles, we've got the page of swords, we've got the two of wands, the overall energy for the reading is the king of swords. So, somebody's been sitting around thinking about you here. Uh, this person is at a point where they're going to take some kind of action here um, and make some kind of decision. They know they're at that point where they know they need to make a decision. Okay, your person could be single or whatever the case, they feel like they're just very, they feel very attractive, all right? They feel very abundant. So the star, this is about renewal, this is about healing, it's like a douche commercial, Calgon, take me away. So I think we are going to talk to that star first, since that is the major arcana. So what's going on with the star down here on the table? Let's just get into this room. What's going to go on with the star down here on the table? What's going on with the star down here on the table? Show me the star. Why is the star in this person's energy? Thank you. Okay. All right. Ocho de oros. What's going on here with the star and the eight of pentacles here? Okay, mm -mm. it seems like this person here has been hoping to work on something here, weave something with you. I feel like this has been like this, um, it's uh, in, like a boomerang. I'm almost getting a boomerang, like something's coming back around here. They're wanting something to come back around. What is this energy that this they're wanting to come back around? What is this that they're wanting to come back around? Okay. Looks like they're wanting to talk about something here. Okay. What is this person wanting to talk about? What's this person wanting to talk about here? About working on here. They're wanting to work on something. <laughs> There's a conversation between the both of you here about something. They're wanting something to come back around, want to work on something. They're hoping to get their, their focus here towards you. Can we get any more information on this, please? Any more information on this? What else do we got going on under this energy, this conversation? 
What else do we got going on here with this conversation, please? What else do we got going on with this conversation, please? Okay. Something here uh, has, has been weighing on them. What's been weighing on them here, this conversation? What's weighing on them right now? What's weighing on this person, please? What's weighing on this person, please? You're going to make me shuffle. What's weighing on this person? Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> So, this is like, there's been a lack of ambition here. And it's like, because they don't want to avoid, they want to avoid rushing into a situation, okay? Because they feel like there might be some kind of consequences here. So, what are these consequences that this person feels like might happen? What are these consequences? What are these consequences this person feels like might happen? Okay. Okay. Wow. So this is like... Uh, the consequences here, if they indulge here on some aspect here with you, Okay, maybe it could be like alcohol, it could be spending money here, so it's like the consequences is they feel like this might get knocked out of balance, so they're not wanting things to get knocked out of balance right now at this particular moment. Okay, I can appreciate that, I can appreciate that. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get right into that Nine of Pentacles next. So what's the Nine of Pentacles here in this person's energy for? Show me the Nine of Pentacles here. Nine of Pentacles. What are the Nine of Pentacles in this person's energy, please? Nine of Pentacles, please. Show me the Nine of Pentacles. Show me the Nine of Pentacles. Sure. Okay. El Mundo. What's going on with uh, the Nine of Pentacles here and the world? And then I'll open up my pie hole. Nine of Pentacles and the world, top to bottom, please. Thank you. Nine of Pentacles and the world. Something's, this person's coming back around. I don't know. It could be anybody. Ooh, I just had an exploding deck. My goodness. But whatever the case is, they're coming back around because this person here, they got romantic feelings for you. So whoever this is, is not wanting to take some kind of reckless action here to throw things off balance right now at all because they want to come back around and woo you, okay? Woo, 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 baby. <laughs> I'm going to start getting jealous. Oh, Louie, no. Louie's trying to woo you guys, too. i got to put my leg up on the table because Louie likes to jump on the table during tarot time, don't you, bailiff? He's like, well, I just showed up for coat, mama. Come on, brother. Come on. Yeah, good boy. He hasn't been saying much to the Pisces lately. How come you haven't been talking to Pisces, huh, brother? Hmm? He's like, I'm not talking right now, mama. He's like, you're going to have to tell that story about the kitten. I know I will. So what's this uh, decision that this person needs to make in order for something to become significant here? To come, It's like to come back around. Okay, yeah, this person, whoever this is, they're coming back around. Because something was not really ever able to get up off the ground in the past. All right. So I feel like this person's been patiently waiting here to finally make a decision to 
be with you. Let's go ahead and get one more on that lovers, please. Thank you. Yep. This is going to be unexpected for you. You're not going, well, you're going to know it now. So somebody's making a choice, somebody's making a decision to be with you. It seems like something never just got up off the ground. There could have been a lot of false starts here. Like at least maybe three to four false starts. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I can appreciate that. Sometimes the timing isn't right. You know, I mean, that's really what it is. I told you guys that story about, uh, that one guy that, yeah, it took 10 years. And finally, you know, after 10 years, we were able to be together, right? So it is what it is. Sometimes things just take time. Okay, so what's this action this person's likely to take here? There's an action here. Yeah, somebody wants to come. Someone wants to come and eat the bush. Pick on your bush here. Oh, yeah. Yep, you got somebody here that's coming towards you. They've been thinking about you. And what they've been thinking about is that this person's got a lot of love for you here. We've got the Knight of Cups. We've got the Page of Cups. We've got the Lovers down here on the table. This is good. This is something, though, that there was a lot of false starts. That's all I keep hearing in my, in my, in my intuition. There was a lot of false starts. I'm going to clear it off of the White Sage. Uh, we will grab one card for each sign, as always. And then I'm going to tell my kitten story. Yeah, this person's stuck on you. Okay. What we got? Yeah, this person has definitely been thinking a lot about you. A lot, a lot. Yep, and you're going to be getting communication here from somebody. All right, we're going to grab the Kitty Boom Booms for Jesse. Jesse is a subscriber here on my YouTube channel, just so that y'all know. Pisces dealing with Pisces. I love Jesse. The, they think you're really attractive. Cancer, how do you feel about Pisces? Sure. Cancer feels like you're distracting yourself from them. Scorp. Scorp. Sure. Scorpio has maybe just walked away. Or they're just taking a break from the situation right now. Aries. Aries. Thank you. Aries is regretting something that they did. Leo. Leo. You guys are not talking. Sagittarius. 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 Uh, you guys are not talking. Oh my goodness. Libra. Libra. Okay, Libra has either walked away for good or they're just taking a break. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Thank you, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, they feel like you're at a distance. Uh, Aquarius. I promise I won't miss Taurus. <laughs> Aquarius. Thinks you're very attractive. Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo. They're regretting something that they did. And Taurus. 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 Okay. Okay. Taurus. Uh, they feel like you're distracting yourself a little bit and holding something back. Hmm. Happity, Cappity, how do you feel about... Okay, Cap. Capricorn thinks you are a big deal to them. So, I am going to share my kitten story. For those of you that have stuck around, everybody else that's leaving, uh, thank you for the like, share, comment, subscribe. Okay, so, kitten story. Yesterday, I went to my buddy Randy's house. And I thought I heard a kitten when I pulled up, but I'm like, okay, maybe you're just crazy, Talia. So I sit down on his lawn furniture, you know, and then I hear, meow, meow, meow. And I'm like, do you hear that, Randy? He was like, yeah, it's probably uh, that cat that we seen the other day. There was a, a wild cat out there, you know, never seen a cat there. 
and all the he's lived there for 10 years or something like that so anyway i'm just like okay well obviously the cat's hurt you know because it wouldn't be just doing that over and over again so i go out and oh my god there was a kitten next to my wheel of my car i almost hit it it was in the grass okay it was really small really really small and um so i of course me and his daughter we got on the ground we got the kitten the kitten reached and took off running first you know it was obviously like thought we were going to eat it and then uh eunice was able to get a little closer she got the kitten and then she hands me the kitten the kitten's screaming going crazy it's hungry we grabbed some tuna we grabbed some cat food it's not taking any of it it's going nuts and um long story short i go to my buddy's mom's house because she's pretty close my buddy didn't have his cat carriers because his ex-wife stole them <laughs> so he's got to get new cat carriers and then um so i go to his mom and i take eunice with me in the car with the cat because <laughs> my buddy was like I don't want to deal with the cat. I don't want it in my house. He didn't even want it in his bathroom. He was kind of being a bear. He, his mom's getting ready to move in. And he said his mom's manifesting kittens over there. <laughs> it's just like, he's blaming his mom. She's almost moved in. She's not staying there yet. He's like, this is my mom manifesting kittens over here. There's never been cats ever. And now cats are showing up and she's manifesting kittens. <laughs> This shit's funny. So he's upset. And she's already got three cats. And they're going to have five cats. You know. So he's not looking forward to this at all. And now kittens are showing up everywhere. Cats. So uh, I, I called my friend. She runs Caddy Shack Cat Sanctuary. Okay. Like Caddy Shack. <coughs> Bill Murray actually promotes uh, Caddy Shack as well. If you guys didn't know that. So, you can look it up. Caddy Shack in Hamill, Illinois. They do accept donations as well. I'm not trying to promote, you know. But if you want to, it's greatly appreciated. So, whatever the case is, um, I get the kitten back to my house. And, oh my God. I called her Little Lana. She was a torty. And, guess what? Uh... She, I fed her here, she ate and ate, she, and then she played and just was so good. She slept all night long, didn't wake up, didn't cry at all till the sunset or the sunrise came, and then she was hungry. So then I got up, let her out, fed her, I did the massage or booty hole and all that and got her to pee one time. She didn't poop. And then my friend Sarah set up, because she can't have the cat at the caddy shack until it goes to the vet in case it's got some kind of disease. She doesn't want it to be, contaminate the rest of the uh, cats that are up for adoption. And so this morning I drove over to Collinsville, Illinois, and I was able to drop off little Lana. And I cried. 12 hours and I got attached to a kitten so hard and it made me cry i couldn't even ha and it was screaming and i was oh i can't have another cat you know but uh louie did like lana he was like all up in her business the girls hated her they were hissing at her but um yeah and then of course today i had to you know bleach the floor where she was at and clean everything and burn incense because the girls kept walking in the room and hissing at the room so i had to clear the energy but I did something good and I'm grateful that I have some great friend that is able to help assist a kitten. My friend was just like, he was like, just leave it outside. We'll feed it, leave it outside. And I'm like, how can you just leave a little kitten outside? I was like, it's getting night. It's going to be hawk food. You know, it's lost. He was just, uh, but he apologized to me. But anyway, so that was my story. I had to share that with you. That's why I saved the story for the end. Because some people don't want to hear the stories, you know. And I, I get it. That's fine. You don't have to stay here. But thank you for being here. Uh, if you did, you know, hear my story, I always like a good cat story. So, you guys know what to do on the way out. Carol's adjourned.